serious what's the worst pain you ever felt? My first hemorrhoid was so bad that I couldn't sleep the whole night. I pondered taking my knife and just puncturing it. Basically stabbed myself in the ass. Physical? Tie between fracturing 4 ribs with severe internal bruising and having a front tooth get infected and go abscess. Emotional? Taking my son to his mother in a state 5000 miles away and then getting on the plane to come back without him. Passing a kidney stone. I was circumcised at the age of 7 the worst pain in my life was when I woke up from surgery and was lying on my bed. I had merely regained consciousness and turned on my side to sleep again. Huge mistake my bed rubbed against the blanket covering me and I screamed with the fury of a thousand banshee. Edit, my most upvoted comment is about having no foreskin. Well I had kidney stones twice now and I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. And they must be in the like kind of sort, because I was still able to walk to a doctor for pain meds. Even then. Worst days of my life by far. My neighbors must have thought I was on a multi-day sex tour cause I just could not stop groaning when awake. I also had to have my eardrum suction clean after a bad case of ear infection. Very painful and a pain right inside the middle of your head, that's how it feels like, is very weird. But would take the ear above kidneys all day. I have a few. Physically. I had an abscess in my throat that put me in hospital and nearly killed me. It also cost me the sight in my right eye due to the infection traveling. This was 5 years ago. Second. About 18 years ago. I was doing a martial arts class and we did a self defense technique where your partner strikes the groin then reaches past that. Grabs your trousers and lifts you off the ground. He missed and lifted me off the floor by my testicles. I looked like Casper apparently. Mentally. I lost my mum and the start of 2018 to cancer and that was one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through. I've also suffered depression, but I'm doing okay now. Not great but okay. Just gotta keep on. Keeping on. Migraine so bad they make me puke in pain. Gout. You can't sit. Stand or lie down without being in pain. Pills barely touch it, and there's little you can do, except chug water and pray to forgotten entities in your delirium. When I woke up one morning w stomach cramps, and went to the hospital, to find out I was having an appendicitis, and needed to have surgery. Fell off a ladder onto a concrete floor, and dislocated my shoulder, and broke my proximal humerus. It was the worst pain I have ever known, and I gave birth to three kids. And I could hardly move for a couple of weeks without huge pain. They just strapped my arm to my body, and when I would go into the hospital to have that changed, tears would roll down my face because of the pain. The nurses were kind of tired, too, but could really do nothing but sympathize. Hope to never have that happen again. My one of my testicles got caught in that opening in the front of pyjama pants. I rolled over, and it twisted a lot. For the next week I was having terrible pain in my balls. I was 10 at the time, and was afraid to tell anyone. Eventually told my mom and we went to the ER. They kept poking my balls and it hurt so much. I had to get an ultrasound to be sure it wasn't dead. It was just some serious torsion, or whatever. I was the youngest person at the urologist when I had a follow up. Edit pyjama. Dislocated my hip by busting it through the front of my pelvis. Destroying part of my pelvis and tearing my hamstring 60% through all in one swift motion. Physical would be dental pain. My mouth is small and my wisdom teeth slowly pushing my teeth was torture. Psychological would be checking myself in the hospital for depression. While lying to my parents at where I was and getting dumped. All the same day. Teeth okay and depression taken care of now though. I had a trio of blood clots form in the bottom of my right lung. When the pressure rose high enough, one of them burst and started flooding my lung with blood. It felt like I got stabbed with a molten hot screwdriver through my torso. Then I started coughing up blood. It was unfun. About two years ago I had a boil on my butt. Stubborn me thought I could wish it away, didn't work. And I suffered in pure agony for about two weeks. I couldn't stand unless I was walking and even then it was a limp at best or sit down. I went through an entire bottle of Tylenol in about 10 days, everyone yelled at me telling me that was dangerous. Nothing happened. Though, 
I also tried the peppermint slash Epsom salts bars. That also didn't work, but only for about 10 minutes. After about 2 weeks though I did go to the doctor and got it drained. For my stubbornness I earned myself a staph infection and was on antibiotics for another 2 weeks. I still have the scar. 2. I never want to boil again. Those hurt. When I was in second grade me and my neighbor were throwing fiberglass driveway markers around the yard like spears. One of them hit me in the eye. It went through my eyelid and bounced out. But it took some muscle from the back of my eye with it and those muscles were now hanging out of my eye onto my face. I had surgery and I'm now 100% RECOVERED. Got into a car accident when I was 12 due to my drunk mother. We were going 130 kilometers on a 100 kilometer highway at around about 11 pm on Australia day. We ended up in a chase with cops because we were obviously breaking the speed limit. I was in the back with my mother driving and her friend in the passenger seat. Instead of pulling over she thought it would be a good idea driving on the right side of the road in order to escape. Instead we crashed head on with another car and ended up flipping 35 times. I don't remember how many. We landed upright and my mother's friend had fallen unconscious and my mother was a red skid mark on the road about 4 meters in front of the car. I was trapped in the car covered in glass with the windows, blocked by the hood. It took 20 minutes for paramedics to arrive on scene and during that time the cops took my mother's friend out and had used a crowbar to ply my door open. All I could do was want to scream but I felt like I was drowning so all I could manage was wails. When paramedics arrived they took me and my mother's friend in the ambulance and drove us to the hospital and I was put under some drugs. When I woke up I was told that they were surprised I hadn't gone into pain shock earlier. I was told I had a 3 fractured ribs and one broken rib that was puncturing one of my lungs. 3 fingers on my right hand we are missing fingernails. Along with the 3 of them broken. My right arm was dislocated and I had multiple cuts and abrasions all over my body with a few big shards of glass in my right side slash arms and barely missing my right eye. Very lucky that I survived. My mother died though when she hit the ground after flying through the windshield and her friend had some cuts, abrasions, both broken legs and a severe concussion. Don't know what happened to her because I was sent to my father's after that. Childbirth without any pain relief. Compound fracture of my left ankle was pretty bad. A UT turned kidney infection. I spent 4 days curled up in bed with a constant steam of hot water bottles and ice cubes. Painkillers didn't even touch it. I had abominable pain once that came in waves. It doubled me over every time it came. It was unbearable. I was about 15. I told my parents and they downplayed it. I'm glad it was not appendicitis. I have no idea what it was. But it was excruciating for about 4 hours. Reconstructive tendon surgery on my hand. The local wasn't working, and they couldn't give me any other anesthetic as I was hammered as fuck. The pain wasn't as bad as watching a guy pull two sides of a tendon out of the top of my hand and tie them together. Not gonna lie. That was pretty fucking weird. Physical pain. Tearing my Achilles tendon. That wasn't a fun time. Emotional pain. Finding out I was having a miscarriage. Physical, a tie between back labor with my son and my legs giving out on me due to back issues. Mental, when my brain tries to trick me into thinking nobody loves me, they'd be better of without me, etc. Depression is real. Anyone else feeling like this? Please reach out we see these feelings and thoughts don't last forever. Physical, I burned 4 fingertips on a burner when I was about 12 and passed out from the pain when they were cleaning them. I do have fingerprints, but they are less pronounced on that hand. Emotional, learning our baby no longer had a heartbeat at 9 weeks. After 3 years of infertility, IVF, 2 prior miscarriages. Finally figuring out what was wrong and treating it. It was the first time when I'd ever heard a heartbeat despite it being my third pregnancy. Learning it had stopped. And hearing my husband start sobbing. I cannot even describe it. Even my doctor had tears in her eyes. I'd take those burned fingers a million times over. Realizing my loneliness a few years back at the bottom of my depression. Realizing I was wasting my valuable time for people who didn't value me. As they meant the world to me. Physically. 
Nothing worse than a cricket ball hitting the scrotum. Gallstones. I've had two kids. But the worst was nursing with a massive mastitis infection. I had a swollen mass about the size of a baseball. I'm a 38F. My doctor said the best way to clear the infection was to continue to nurse. The breast pump wasn't strong enough. Basically had to let my little raptor latch onto the infection and suck. At one point there was a blinding pain. A rush of heat and my son spit out a bunch of pus. The relief was incredible. With the blockage out I was able to pump and clear the infection out. I still start to sweat when I think about how much that hurt. Ovarian torsion. Mentally, hearing my mom yelling help me, my name, while my drunk father was trying to murder her. When my best friend died. Having my nail bed scraped to clean it after gauze was removed. The nail was removed in surgery. It was pretty much sandpaper on an open wound. I cut my thumb off in the same incident, and that pain was one tenth compared to my other finger, that only had the nail pop off. Nurse said shouldn't hurt haha. <laughs> Fuck you nurse. Getting stabbed hurt worse than getting shot, but they both fucking sucked. Fracturing bones hurts pretty bad as well lol I would rather break a bone than fracture one. Waiting 9 desperate days in the hospital for my baby brother to wake up after he was shot in the head by his best friend. He never did wake up and I never got to say a real goodbye. It's been 2 years and I still cry all the time. The fear. You'll know when you have it. Mental, suffering from PTSD that's pretty much integrated with my soul. Sometimes I feel as if my body is the shell and my brain is the mental illnesses that I have. Nothing more. Had to post this because that is how I currently feel. I had a court scan once. But I turned out to be very allergic to the contrast fluid they use. Felt like someone took a knife to slowly cut open my veins from the inside. My coworkers and I were moving a 600 pound baby grand piano, and I was a pivot, guy who sets the corner down on the ground, after we take the back leg off. I wasn't strong enough and the whole weight of the piano came down on the space between the knuckles of my pinky and ring finger. There was only one point of contact, the corner, so, yeah. I yelped like a little girl, and have never lost so much sweat over the course of 10 minutes. They told me to wrap it in tape and keep working. And I was like WTF now I'm going to the ER. And then they asked me if I wanted to come back to work after I went to the ER. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Exclamation mark. So this is why every mover retires at age 40. Our customer was super nice and he paid for my ER visit. Trigger warning. RPE. Physical pain. 1. Rape. Anal. Especially the first one. And being choked while that happened. You cannot breath and that just makes it feel like you are drowning while dealing with a burning pain in a place that are supposed to be private and yours. And you cannot move. I almost lost consciousness then. And then your whole body just hurts. Like. I cannot describe how it hurts but it just hurts. Like. X. 2. Started laughing while eating soup and it went up my nose. That fucking sucked. Mental pain. 1. Realizing all the lies I went through. Mainly lying to myself. Realizing how fucking stupid I am. And how I cannot actually go back and change anything. And how I have fucked myself up when I colder have left earlier. It has the constant need to go back and fix it. And I cannot so that sucks. 2. Having to say goodbye to my twin when he left for uni. Well like. Actually the stereotype of being extremely connected, and I just felt so empty, and like a part of my physical heart was being torn. And then the aftermath of having the room to myself and all that was just... so fucking painful.